the real B said, could you please do a Q&A lab tech video? I got you, girl. It took me two months to do this, three months or however long, but I got you. Let's get straight into it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Derica, and today we are doing the lab tech Q&A video that was requested. So I'm just gonna go in the comment section, find some of these questions, answer them, and hopefully they are of any help to you. Oh, excuse me that I'm looking over here. My laptop is over here and that's where the questions are. But let's just go ahead and get the questions about myself out the way because we can do that in the snap. As I said, my name's Derica, 25 years old. I'm turning 26, July 30th, and I have been a med tech for four and a half years now. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's get it. Let's get it. Hey sis, where are you from? I am from Memphis, Tennessee. Lived there, went to school there, worked there. That's where I'm from. Hello, do you draw blood? I get this one quite a bit. And the answer is no, I don't draw blood because I work in a hospital that have phlebotomists. So no, uh, but medical lab technicians can draw blood as well. But a, but a lot of the times, if you work in a hospital, you will not because they have phlebotomists. Hey, question, is there any sort of math involved? Yes, but it is very, very, very basic math. If I can do it, you can do it. You're gonna hear me say that a lot because if I can do it, you can do it, seriously. It's um, basic math like doing dilutions, um, calculating like your red cell indices, which is basic multiplication and division. It's like this number times this number divided by this number, and that's your answer. It's very simple math. Um, and working in the lab, you never have to worry about um, not knowing how to calculate something because your lab is going to have it on a sheet or some cue cards or something to make sure you do it right because it's patient care. You got to do it right. So the glorious question of how much do you make? This question is another question that honestly depends. People who live in New York or California or Chicago and bigger cities make more money, but this also depends on where exactly you work. If you work in a hospital, you have to keep in mind that people who work in the hospital work pretty much every day. They work weekends, they work holidays. People who work in clinics or doctor's offices make less because they only work five days out of the week. They probably don't have to work weekends or holidays. I did give a range of 18 to 24 for MLS. I mean, not MLS, um, 18 to 24 for MLT. But again, that was in my state and uh, I worked in the hospital and I also worked second shift. So I got a $2 difference in my pay. Um, so you have to keep stuff like that in mind. I started out, like I said, making 21, but I have ex coworkers here, like where I'm working now. And some of them said they started making like $16 an hour. And I'm like, what, what? How many hours do you usually work? This is a good question. We work eight hours, um, you know, in a hospital, each shift work eight hours. You have three different shifts, first, second, and third. Um, but there are options to do PRN or to only work on weekends. Some people work 12 hours and they work three days on and, you know, three days off or a week on a week off. So there are flexible options, but most people work eight hour days. What educational slash training background is suggested for this career? I'm a biochem undergrad and I've worked in patient care before. I've liked the idea of clinical work. I'm just not sure how specialized I want to be or in what scope. I just went to a local community college, but there are more options. You can do community college. You can get a uh, bachelor's degree. I know some people who have master's degrees and um, there are different specialties besides like kind of like um, core lab. Because in the hospital, you're going to have hematology, chemistry, 
micro blood bank uh, cytology and stuff like that but there are reference labs or other hospital that does stuff like molecular virology so there are different choices um, to choose specifically what you want to specialize in but uh, as far as having the biochem undergrad I'm not sure if that will help you in the case because as far as I know you have to go to a med tech program to work as a med tech, but exception to every rule, literally exception to every rule. I think some people said that you can like test out of it or something like that, um, but I don't know. Hey, I'm interested in becoming a medical lab technician. Can you give me any advice on what to expect in the classes? When I first started as a, a med tech, it was all new to me. Hematology, micro, blood bank, all of that was new to me. Um, what I can say, if you go to a two year program, kind of expect to learn a lot of information um, at one time. I think even in the four year program, it's a lot of information that you do have to learn, but I feel like it is manageable if you manage your time and you try to study and review every day if you can um, and another tip i would give for people who are going into the med tech program a lot of the times you might start off with something like hematology or urinalysis and then you you know the next semester do something different well the next semester you're going to do something different and then it's going to be like two years later or four years later and you have to take the board exam you have to keep in mind that you're going to have to continue yes continuously study and review everything that you learn because at the very end you're going to have to take the board exam through ASCP or um, AMT you're gonna to have to take a test so you can get your credentials and get certified so that you can work because um, a lot of places want you to have ASCP to work in the hospital like i said there are exceptions to the rules how did you prepare for the ascp exam great question i study using quizlet uh, personal cue cards that i made uh was it med lab or media lab it's been a while y'all it's been like like i said four and a half years going on five <laughs> that's just it's been a minute ago what's also awesome is the boc book that is online to buy review the questions to help to see like what you know and what you need to study keep your notes keep your books and your flashcards uh the study guides that my professor gave me um but i'm pretty sure there's a lot of stuff online go online and type asap mlt and i'm pretty sure like book or whatever and i'm pretty sure there's books that are out there and, you know, look at the reviews. Yeah, so remember to continuously review as you're going through the program because you're gonna need to remember, you know, as much information as you can when you go to take your board exam so you can pass. Hey, what kinds of jobs are in your laboratory? Do doctors work in the laboratory? Um, no, doctors do not work in the laboratory. I would like to take a moment to clarify um, this last clip um, because the pathologist, of course, is a part of the lab. Um, it kind of depends on what area you work in. If you work in hematology, you might have to take back a path review or take back bone marrow slides. Um, if you have any questions about something that you see on the slide, you can go to your pathologist. The only doctor that is technically somewhat in the lab with us is pathology which usually for most hospitals pathology is kind of somewhere else um, in its own little area and then your pathologist might you know walk around in the lab but you know i very rarely ever see my pathologist in the lab that answers the questions on the type of jobs that's in the lab techs specimen processors phlebotomists uh, lab carriers who come and get the specimens and maybe take it to a um, another place or, or drop off specimens. Um, who else works in the lab? I think that's I think that's it. A job for socially anxious introverts, 
and do you need to know chemistry because it's not my strongest suit it's a good question i think i butchered this question so bad trying to read it i will classify myself as an introvert and i do this job every day i will say you do have to work with your co-workers and you do have to pick up the phone and speak to the doctors speak to the nurses but as you do that a gazillion million times it really honestly will not bother you anymore you know you should be okay as long as your co-workers are nice it shouldn't be too bad but um but you do kind of have to be social you have to have teamwork because you will be working alongside other people now there is an exception to this if you work in a small clinic it might just be you it was like one my earring y'all i think i broke it i'm trying to be cute and my earring is like no not today fam okay um what was i saying you could find your dream job working by yourself all night shift um, but you still do have to interact because when the first shift come in you're gonna have to give report so you do still have to interact with your co-workers alrighty so next question um if i do mlt from india is my certificate or will my certificate be valid to work abroad okay so this is a great question um, but my best answer for this, because I really do not know, is to go on the ASCP website and this will let you know because there are different routes. So just go to the ASCP website, go to, um, go all the way down to the bottom and then it's going to be like U.S. certifications. Um, but there are different routes, um, like route one, bachelor's degree from a regionally accredited college or university. So your school has to be a, um, NAASLS certified. Just go on the website. I'm gonna leave the website down below in the um, description bar to the exact page. So you can go to this exact page and you're gonna answer the questions and it's gonna let you know, okay, you do qualify to take ASCP. And once you're certified in the United States, you can work in the United States. Um, as long as you have everything else like um, um, figured out. But as far as like getting certified here, you just have to qualify to take the board exam and you're good to go is you know you have your degree and you have your certification and if you go to a state that needs a state license you got to have a state license they do offer like a bridge between mlt to um mt which is medical uh laboratory technologist and you can get your bachelor's degree I personally do not plan on going back right now because I make decent money working as a traveler, but that is an option. You can get your bachelor's degree. One more important thing. I would like to thank everybody who's in the comment section, you know, being supportive and answering other people's questions. I really appreciate that because I don't know everything. If there's anything you feel like I answered wrong, correct me down in the comment section. Also, just a little word of encouragement. If I can do it, you can do it. Because let me tell you, all you need is a little bit of motivation and you can make it through the med tech program. You have to be dedicated and motivated. And if you, you know, work hard and study, you can work and you can pass your board exam. No problem. Also, give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if my content helped or if it didn't let me know what i can improve on and i will surely work on that <laughs> it's all folks i will catch you guys later the hope, the love.